In the previous video we added the ability to remove a city from local storage. In this video we are going to improve the user experience of the application by implementing animated skeleton loaders for asynchronous data. So on the completed application if we go to view a city here as you can see we have this nice skeleton of what the page is going to look like. And if we head back to the home page here as you can see again we have a nice skeleton of what the card is going to look like. And that is what we are going to be implementing here in this video. Now back within the project, the first thing that we're going to do is create a component for the animated placeholder itself. Then we'll use that component to build a skeleton for the city card and then also the city view. So first off within our components folder, let's create this component and we'll call this animated placeholder. And for this component, we're only going to need markup, so we can just define a template here. Now inside of this template, we're going to create a div and we'll apply a few classes. First, we'll add a background, and for this, we're going to be using a linear gradient. So to add this, we're going to say BG, then specify gradient, and then we want to add the direction. So we'll say 2, and then R for right. And then we want to specify the color, so we'll say from, and then we'll say gray, and then do 100. And for the animation, we'll use a class called Animate Pulse. Then within this div, we just want to add something called a non-breaking space, and that's all we're going to need to do for this component. So now that we have this, let's begin to create the skeleton layout for the city card and also the city view. And we'll begin with the city card. So for this, we're going to create a new component and we'll call this city card skeleton. And within here, let's define our view boilerplate using the vbase3 setup and then we'll remove the style tags here. Now this component is going to be structured very similar in regards to the markup as our city card component. So we want to have an animated placeholder for the city name, the state, the weather, and also the high and low. Now on this div, let's apply a few classes. So we actually want to add the same exact classes here as we have on this div that's wrapping our entire card. So what we can do is actually just copy this and then paste it here on this div, but we actually don't need to define a cursor pointer. And within this div, we'll create an additional div for the city and also the state placeholder. So we'll apply a few classes and we'll do a display of flex. We'll set the flex direction to a column. We'll do a class of flex 1 and also a class of gap 2 for some separation between the flex children. And within here, we just want to define the animated placeholder component. So we'll do animated placeholder and we want to have two of these. So we'll just copy this down like this. And on each one of these components, we're also going to add an additional class. So for the first one here, we're going to define a max width, and we're going to use an arbitrary value here, and we'll say 50%. And then for the second one, we're going to do the same thing, but this one's actually going to be 40%. Then below this div, we want to create an additional div to store the placeholder for the current weather and also the high and low. So we'll create our div and we'll apply some classes. So we'll set the display to flex. Then we'll set the flex direction to a column. We'll align all the items to the end. Then we'll set the class of flex one and we'll also add some gap here with the class of gap two. And within here, we just want to define the animated placeholder components. So we can copy these two from the div above and we can paste them in here. And some adjustments that we want to make is actually the max width is going to be 50 pixels, not 50%. And the second one is going to be 75 pixels. And we also want to add a class of width full, which is going to set the width to be 100%. Then we want to navigate to the views folder and we want to open up our home view, which is where we're importing and defining our city list component. Now, currently we just have this fallback message of loading. And instead of having this paragraph tag here, we just want to define our city card skeleton component instead. So now if we refresh the application for a split second there, you're going to see the city card skeleton component be displayed. Now currently as you can see we have this sort of flicker effect because the data is loading in so quickly. To resolve this and improve the user experience of our fallback content here, we can navigate into our city list component and we have this function called get cities. And what we can do is make it wait for an additional second before resolving and showing our data using something like this. So we're going to await a new promise here and we're going to set a timeout for one second. And after that one second has resolved, then the rest of our function will continue. So now if we refresh this here, as you can see, it's going to be displayed for an additional second, which in my opinion makes for a much better user experience.
So now that we have the city card skeleton complete, let's work on the city view skeleton. So for this, we'll create an additional component and we'll call it the city view skeleton. And for this component to save some time in this lesson, since it's quite simple, I will be pasting in the markup for our city view skeleton. And if you are looking for the markup to follow along with this video, just be sure to head down below to the description, which will be a link to the GitHub repository, and you just want to navigate to branch 13 or above, and you should be able to find this component to copy and paste in. And with this completed, we want to navigate down to our views folder and open up our city view file. And again, we have our template with our fallback content, which currently just has a paragraph tag in it. And we want to replace this with our city view skeleton component. And now if we select the city from the list, we should see our city view skeleton component. And again, we have the same issue where we have this flickering effect because the data is resolving very quickly and it's alternating from this component right here to show our async city view component. So to resolve this, we want to navigate into the async city view component and inside of the function get weather data, we want to delay this function from finishing by one second. So to do that, we'll add the same exact thing we had in the city list component, which is going to be awaiting a new promise, which is going to call a set timeout method, which will resolve after one second. And now if we navigate back to the home page and then we re-enter this route, as you can see, the skeleton is going to be displayed for that additional second, which again, just improves the user experience.